red cedar. Beautiful tree. Unfortunately, yet another problem. We had to cut down this tree and three adjacent trees the other day. This one was totally dead. These were about 80% dead. And what I'm finding is there's a trunk canker disease, and I'm not ex exactly sure what the, what the disease is, but you'll see a swelling in the bark, and you'll see that the, um, the pitch is exuding from the bark. I'm noticing that red cedars, redwood trees, deodar cedars, and a few of the other conifers in our area are showing the same symptoms. The, uh, up in the mountains around here, the, the uh, Douglas fir, they're dying by the thousands. I see dead Douglas firs everywhere. Well, on this stump right here, you can see there's some decay in the center, but that wouldn't be associated with it. It would be right along the edge. And it's interesting, this one doesn't look too bad. You can see a drying out and discoloration, dead tissue all the way around the stump. This one was stone dead. But this one's kind of interesting. The trunk canker was lower on this, and you can see that the bark is separating and there's a lot of pitch oozing between the cambium and the bark. And there's a separation and there's a drying. But you can see all this is dead tissue all the way around. There, this tree wasn't totally dead. There's a little bit of life here. Well, maybe a little bit of life there, a little bit over here. But uh, for all intents and purposes, it was gone. And interesting, it's a, it's a real tight, I counted the rings and there's 65 or 70 years of, of growth rings, really hard to see them there. This one over here. This one uh, was also in the same notion. You see a lot of pitch right in through here and separation of the bark. Everything is dried out all the way around. This last one over here, this one actually had um, a little bit of life left to it and we, we thought, well, maybe we should hold off on that one. Look at how rotted it is all the way over here. But the first sign of the, 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 of the uh, damage was the, uh, the weeping in the bark. So I look at the other trees and this is kind of interesting. They hired somebody last year, it wasn't us, who went up this tree with spurs. Quite possibly the power company, because somebody tops this tree out for those lines up there. Sad. And I'm very concerned that there are a lot of diseases that can be transferred by the, the use of climbing gaffs and climbing spurs. And a trunk canker disease would be right in line with that. Which is interesting. I see these spur marks all the way up here. And I'm thinking, what the hell? I mean, this is like a ladder. You know, who in their right mind would put spurs on to climb this tree in the first place? The world is full of idiots that should not be doing this type of work. So time will tell. Are these trees going to succumb to this problem and go downhill? And what should I plant in here? They want conifers, but we shall see. Okay. I've been at this for a long time. I've been doing tree work for 42 years. I'm a certified arborist. I know quite a bit, but I'm far from an expert on everything in this field and there isn't anybody out there. And one of the things about this uh, YouTube channel that I'm really hoping we can start encouraging is a sharing of knowledge and a sharing of ideas. When I post these videos, I'm not saying, here I am, I'm the expert, I know what the answer is. A lot of times I'm posting these things saying, here's something, I don't know what it is. There's somebody out there that does, or this can be forwarded to somebody who does, and we can post comments and everybody can learn a little bit from it. Um, sometimes people say, well, take a, a sample and send it to a lab and find out. Well, yeah, okay, I can do that. But we learn a lot more by sharing information. And, and I'm really, I'm positive somebody out there will say, I understand. I know exactly what this is. There is no solution, but here's what we can call it, and maybe we can look for a solution. So please subscribe. Hope you enjoy the channel, and uh, get out there and do some work.